Hi, it's Tara. Let's talk today about eggshells and, and the habit of walking on eggshells that we get into. It's the communication habit where we hold back or we hold on to things, we suppress our emotions, our thoughts, our experiences. We don't vocalize our truth to another person that we're in relationship with in any capacity because we're managing their reaction, their reactivity. The problem with this is that you can never really control another person's reactions and you should never try to. You might be able, if you know them really well, to predict what their reactions are gonna be, but changing your behavior in order to control somebody else's is toxic on multiple levels. So on one level, what it does for the nervous system is every time you hold back what you really wanna say or, or the things that you need to express, you end up adding layers of activation into your nervous system and end up with this chronic anxiety that will exist not just in that relationship, but can start to ripple out into other relationships. Because what it does is really eats away at your self-esteem and your confidence and the sense that your experiences and the things you need to say have value and have meaning. And at the very least, they have value and meaning to you. You can't control if they're going to be received that way, but they matter to you. And so you have a right, you are entitled to be able to express yourself and you should be in relationships where you can do that with some sense of safety and being able to feel grounded enough to sit and articulate your thoughts to another person. Now, again, you always want to make sure you're balanced uh, perceptions are a part of this, that you're checking your perceptions so that you're not coming from a place of reactivity or heightened emotional overwhelm. You want to learn how to get balanced perspectives on things and come from a grounded place and be able to articulate that. So you want to be thoughtful with your words and careful, but that doesn't mean holding back. That doesn't mean being afraid and walking on eggshells. One of the reasons we do this the biggest reason that we do this really is because we don't want conflict and confrontation because we don't want disconnection and somewhere in our history somebody has been mean to us or responded negatively to us or just checked out and run away from us completely disconnecting because we've been bold enough to go there that shouldn't stop you and it should never hold you back from saying what you need to say when you start working on your confidence and your ability to articulate with thoughtfulness what you need to say, you start building up your self-confidence and your boldness, and this becomes easier. If you start doing this, it's going to be scary and uncomfortable if you've been holding back for a long time. This should never deter you from trying because if you start, it will begin to get easier, and here's what will happen. You will feel better about it. You will start getting better at it, and other people will respond to you differently. The people that you need to set boundaries with will start respecting those boundaries. People will start treating you differently. Your posture will change. How you interact with people will change. And the unhealthy people that can't tolerate that, that are overreactive and out of control with their emotions and their feedback to you, they're going to start to move into the periphery of your life. And what you're going to notice is people that are healthier and grounded and able to have open, honest communication with you are going to start coming closer in with you. This really is where you're going to find freedom in your life. You have a right to say what you need to say. And the, the idea that you should ever hold back is so should become so abhorrent to your whole system. For your health and well-being, for your self-confidence, your self-worth, you should be consistently working on this where you are able to express yourself in the ways that you need to. Be bold in this area. Try it out. It's going to get easier. Get some help if you need some support for it. But this is a big area of freedom that you need to change these habits and move forward in your life. I hope you're well. Until next time.